couple of weeks ago, with the help of friends and family, we processed all of our meat chickens for the year. And this video will show you a little bit about our processes um, as demonstrated by our friend Jason. Uh, viewer discretion advised, this is a video that will show you the process from a live animal to freezer camp. So if you do not want to see that, do not watch this video, but this is for informational purposes and hopefully you learn something and uh, see how this all works. About here, obviously throw it apart, right? So I'm gonna come in here just beside it. Feathers will kill your knife. We're gonna come at about, oh, I don't know, 20, 30 degree angle. And we call that a good bleed. That was And you'll just hold their head for a few seconds. <coughs> As they start to lose consciousness, they'll kick a little bit less. And then after a while, he'll still, he'll look shocked when you let go. He'll be like, what? <laughs> Why? Why did you do that to me? All right. Now that the chicken has been dispatched, we didn't get a video of the plucking, but you can look that up or we'll post another video later. Um, this is now the process of taking the whole chicken and turning it into what you would throw into the oven. Just snip them at the joint. Come around to the head, pop the head itself off, but then you're going to pull up slightly on the skin of the neck, be careful of the crop, and just start a light, when you hold it up it'll stretch the skin for you, and just trace your knife around, you don't have to dig in real hard. Then you make sure you get the crop, yep, make sure you get the crop, sever the... And it'll pull right off for you. Oh, that's very warm. And you can cut your neck. <laughs> and then here, I love that. <laughs> here, we're going to make a, a horizontal cut. And then we're going to grab it by what's called the vent. And just cut a U shaped hole so that we cut around the vent. We're going to leave the intestine attached to the vent if we can. Okay. That one didn't work out. But. Uh, oh take God, your, take so your fingers <laughs> and just sweep, sweep the cavity to break it loose. <laughs> the one thing I see to go, so you can just bump it a little bit left. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my big clumsy hands with oh, thick fine. gloves. And then all we've got left are our two lungs. The rest of right. this will scrape as we scrape. Um, this is kind of a nice tool. Next year I'll invest in some fish. And uh, you can see they were nested into the rib cage and now right. they've broken loose. Right. So we're good. Oh yeah? Yeah. Did you clean before you put it in the chill tank? Go to find steel, and go buy some scrap metal and that's your mess of bloody Randy zoned up. And then that, you were like, oh. So obviously you got to be careful. You just want to trace until you bust it open. Right. It's not full tubular. It's a P-channel. Oh, okay. So it's... Obviously, that kryptonite green is bad. You don't want to get it on your... Right. But it washes off just now. Okay. Yep. So you're going to just find where the leg separates from the, from the carcass. And just trace down through to cut the skin. Once you've come to where you feel it hit against the pelvis, stop and pop the ball joint. And then your knife can find its way between the ball joint. And you don't dull it. For your wings, you always want it back side up. You're going to squeeze this elbow to stretch it out and start a slice. And again, pop the joint. But when you come down through, if you cut straight, you're going to cut the end of your breast off right here. So you want to scoop a little bit. 
And then again, you're gonna squeeze this and it'll stretch your wing out. Take the tip off. Sorry, buddy. I was gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> I said, ah, you better keep, keep that in your own mind. Right? And then you have your buffalo wings. Hey, Katie, you go top for that one? Yeah. The bees are getting in there. Yeah, hold on. Where he put it. Ooh, there's one back in my tongue. Why is that? Boy, that is terrible. That is a, that knife is so dull. Before I started processing these things, I always wondered where them little chicken legs come from. <laughs> <laughs> like, they do, they look like drumsticks. Yeah, I was like, where the hell do they come And then skin your breast off. And you always take your breast from the side, not from the top, because it's too hard to center it. So you're just going to trace this line gently. And pull back. I make a claw. And you can see I've gotten to the tender. I can get my finger under the breast, but on top of the tender, just make a separation. And this is where the wishbone is. So I'm letting my blade guide along the wishbone until I can feel that I've hit the breast bone. When I hit the breast bone, I'm going to let my knife toggle the chicken up and just cut it clean. And the tender is a little tougher to get out. It's really stuck onto the carcass, but. Just go easy and pull. And always uh, rotate your carcass. Don't try to get awkward with your knife. Don't ever cut towards yourself or anything. You're always doing this motion. Away. <laughs> Hey, you done thought a bee got on I, you. I did, I thought it was a bee. <laughs> we did a cow about a month ago and one stung him and he wore that stinger oh, for, for like two weeks. What was it you put in the, uh, car the back carpet? I thought she had a little bit. One, one, one of the totes. start from a live animal to pieces that you would just cook up for dinner and uh, enjoy. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and hope you learned something. If you didn't learn anything, contact us. You're hired. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.